There's an age-old belief in the tech world that Macs don't get malware. Well, we know that isn't true. Mac security firm Intego uncovered several new threats specifically targeted at Macs in June 2019 alone, and notable instances of Mac malware have been uncovered in the past. But is it true that Macs are less vulnerable than Windows PCs? Macs have a lot of built-in features that can be powerful tools in the fight against malware. But are they enough? These features come with every Mac by default, so is there really a need to install third-party antivirus software on your computer? We asked the experts. Macs really do have some stellar built-in tools that protect you right off the bat. For example, when you download an app off the internet, your Mac checks it against a list of known malware apps using XProtect. It works invisibly in the background, meaning it needs no maintenance or activation and doesn't slow down your Mac. Gatekeeper, meanwhile, will prevent the app from opening without your permission if it hasn't been digitally signed as safe by Apple. And now, Apple has even started notarizing apps so that they can prove they are trustworthy. But there are gaps in the armor that protect Mac users' systems. The macOS layer of security relies on Apple adding quarantine tags to suspicious or outright malicious software, which in turn results in the warning dialog you see when you try to open them. Thomas Reed, director of Mac and Mobile at security firm Malwarebytes told me that the defenses aren't as comprehensive as it seems. Adding that flag is not a requirement, and not all software does it, he explained. For example, torrent software often doesn't, while at the same time being used heavily in piracy. What about the new security features in macOS Catalina? Apple says apps will require your permission before accessing your documents, desktop files, iCloud Drive, and external drives, plus it's promising greater security thanks to a dedicated system volume for the operating system and the T2 security chip in new Macs. So many people still feel like Macs don't need antivirus software that, if you convince them to install something, it's an instant failure if the performance takes a hit, he laments. If you're going to install an antivirus app, then, you need to find one that's not only trustworthy but fast, too. If your Mac slows to a crawl while your antivirus app is conducting a scan, you'll soon run out of patience, potentially putting yourself at risk. There are further indications that we are often the weak link. Reed argues that Apple's inbuilt protection systems do a poor job of detecting adware and potentially unwanted programs pups, things that he describes as the most prevalent threats to Mac users today. Ultimately, antivirus software alone will never be enough. You always need to back it up with a strong dose of common sense. Don't download apps from questionable sources, don't overrule gatekeepers' warnings, don't click links in emails from unknown senders and don't listen to suspicious websites prompting you to install Adobe Flash Player or any other app. That said, an efficient, fast antivirus app can be a useful tool in keeping your Mac safe, helping to cover ground that's missed by Gatekeeper, XProtect, and the other security measures in place on your Mac. So, there you have it. You should install antivirus software on your Mac, but make sure you find one that doesn't slow your machine to a crawl, and back it up with plenty of common sense. Do all that and you stand a good chance of keeping Mac malware at bay. Don't miss our everyday updates. Keep in touch with us, subscribe and press the bell button.